Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. If you want to design and build a beautiful website, you can do it all in one place with Squarespace. I made this. The piece gets stuck in sometimes. Excuse me, Mr. Bread Stealer. You're not allowed to eat that. You can smell it, but you're not allowed to eat it. What are you doing, mister? Having fun? Come on, let's go. Toot toot! Bye, Tugs. Bye. Bye, Rocket. <laughs> try and find a park because I just feel most inspired when I'm like surrounded by green stuff so I think it's a good place to start. I feel like my biggest fear is not liking anything I do today but that's kind of an unhealthy mindset because like it shouldn't be an issue. So I'm gonna try and maintain that that it doesn't matter because I think then I'll end up with more good stuff. It's tricking myself. That is where I'm gonna sit. I posted an unboxing of this on my Instagram stories, but I don't know if any of you have seen that because I don't know how many of you follow me on Insta. Got some Faber Castell polychromos, I think, are they? Yeah. I love this like vintage tin that they come in. I think it was like a 2019 edition or something. This is not related. This is just a box. She sent me some dot um, swatch cards of her favorite watercolors. I can use them off the swatch. She sent me a bunch of amazing paper. Some of it from Dodgy Paper, which I bought for myself recently. Would have been a long time fan of. She sent me some beautiful drawings as well. And then she also sent me Karen Dash crayons. So I've never tried these before. I'm really, really excited. I also brought some pencils, an ink pen, some brushes, and my own watercolor as well. I didn't actually fill this up, but luckily it has a little bit in it, but there's a bubble here so I can do that. And I brought like sharpeners and everything. So we should have enough stuff to make something cool. I'm really excited to try this sketchbook. Always skip the first page, it's too stressful. So let's just not deal with it at all. <laughs> let's just draw something I'm used to drawing.
so nice to sit in the park. I always like to start with something that like I know how to draw or like I, I know what I will like. And I'm obsessed with drawing like side profiles of girls. <laughs> and I'm obsessed with that pattern. So I always like to start with something like that when I start a new sketchbook just so that it like warms me up. Why do your walnuts have to be ugly and new? Why can't they be cute and like familiar? <laughs> gonna try and attempt to create like this layered look on the background with just different layers of watercolor but very simplified and very different trees but so I'm gonna take this blue that I have in the background love this kind it looks like a phthalo blue I love it I want to do like this Hello. Whoa, that almost hit me. Rockets wondering what his custom license plate will be. He loves custom license plate. Do I? <laughs> I will. Who's in there? Thank you. Thank you. What are you gonna get? The thing I got last time was delicious. Yummy, 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 yummy. I'm gonna get that thing I like, this thing. Cold soba. Do you think I should get that or do you think I should get mazi soba or do you think I should get udon? What should I get? Matcha orange. Did you get the matcha orange juice before? I really like matcha lemonade. No. Oh my god. Thank you. I feel like you're not gonna like it. <laughs> really? 
Wow. I don't want to have too much, though. I know how much. Yeah, you okay, are. okay. That's a winner. Can I have some? Prawn katsu burger. I got this, it's like a cold noodle, so you don't drink the soup obviously, but it's cold water with cold noodles, and then you dip it into this warm, delicious, brothy sauce. And then there's tempura prawns, tempura eggplant, and tempura mushrooms, I think, here. Yeah. It's so good, I had this last time. Kromak is the best. This I is, really like that. This is when I was like, is this pen waterproof? And you, then I was like, oh, it's not. You know what this reminds me of? What? Simple. Oh, yeah, it does, it does. <laughs> I really see what you mean. Similar energy. Yeah, it is. Aww. People that are uh, watching and couldn't see, there was a dog that was very cute that walked past. <laughs> Hence, Sean had to make that noise. <laughs> I had I will to. be sampling that noise. That is so fantastic, Mr. Fox. I hear it kills me how much Yeah, that's it is. crazy. The colours and... Oops. Time to draw the roots. The best boy in the world. Yeah. Why do you even say the roots? You could have just said the last part. Well, some people aren't familiar with the best boy in the world. They think you're just the boy of, our, of my dreams. There's this thing I want that I saw on TikTok, baby. It's like a dispenser for washi tape. Yeah. And it's really cool. And that's all I'll say. I expect it to be on my doorstep in two hours. Yeah, I've seen them. Which one? The one that you can tear it on like an angle or you can tear it as a triangle. Yeah, that's exactly the one. Yeah, I know the one. So I expect it on my doorstep in one hour. Um, um, did you want to film your... Oh shit. Thank oh, you you're okay. <laughs> Who knows what else I missed. Definitely have to do some yellow for me to try and get... Team, what team? Papa was asking me about that. You know he's literally flying to Seoul today? Yeah. Oh, you heard my conversation? Yeah. Oh, see, so you eavesdropping. Right? <laughs> yeah. Why? <laughs> Because I was in the bed. <laughs> He's an easy dropper. <laughs> you were on the other side of the bed. These stairs are the wrong angle. See? They're supposed to be curved around.
it starts to like blue, like the print there is creamy, it's because it has a because it has a print, but I you know what? I could break this. It's a crayon. Yeah, it's so matte as well. What a soluble. Interesting. Alright. Like usually water soluble means like really like crap to like draw with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like I'm gonna be using these, but they're expensive. Babe. I understand why. Yeah. It's like we're both reacting in a way that. This is the brand that CJ Hendry uses, but she uses the pencils. And I hope you like this video. Let me know if you like coming on the drawing adventure or not. I know that like, the quality of the footage is not as good, but because I just wanted to use like a small compact thing to film, which is like my phone, as opposed to the cinema camera. Like phones are fine, but like the cinema camera, it's so good. I want to do this like once a month-ish because I think it's really refreshing and like gives me space to go outside and listen to nature sounds, not listening to like music or podcasts or audiobooks or anything and just like taking in my environment while like doodling things. It's like super low pressure, super fun. Um, so I want to do this like once a month. If you liked it, let me know. If you didn't like it, let me know. And then I just will not film it or film it once in a while. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm going to go through the sketches with you and let you know like what I liked and I didn't like my thoughts and stuff like that. But before I do that, I want to say a big thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video as per usual. You guys know that I love Squarespace the best. It's like the most beautiful. It's the easiest to use. It's amazing. I love Squarespace. I was literally just shifting things around on my Squarespace site and it's so easy. Like I feel like it's the reason I update my portfolio as, as frequently as I do because if it wasn't as easy to use as it is on Squarespace, I would just never do it. <laughs> I get excited when I do a new project because I can update my portfolio. But anyway, I had a hot tip in mind that I wanted to tell you, and that is to be a curator. Do not be afraid to like delete projects. Less is more, if you know what I mean. Think about the vibe that you want for your for your portfolio or for your like body of work. And then every time you see you do a project, think to yourself, like, does this serve that vibe? Also, is this something that I love or I'm proud of? If it's not, don't include it. If it's like the style of where you want to go, include it. And then also like the order in which you put your work is super important. So I would say do not clump your best work at the very top because you want people to want to explore your portfolio. If you were looking at a portfolio and all the best work was just in the top row and everything after that wasn't as good, like was bad or whatever or worse, 
would you keep looking at it? No, you'd probably click out of it. So I feel like it's a good way to keep people looking at your work and making sure they see everything. But also, I feel like it makes your work look more consistent when like the best work is scattered throughout. It makes you look like you have like an elevated quality of work while, rather than the quality dropping throughout the whole Anyway, that's just my thoughts. If you guys have never tried Squarespace before, go to squarespace.com slash Peach. You get a free trial and 10% off your first purchase. Now let's look at what I did. I feel like it'd be good to like have a look through. So first page I skipped, but then I went back and like wanted to test if these pens are waterproof and they were not, which was disappointing. But then I kind of loved this like little bleedy texture. I thought it was kind of interesting and it makes the like actual drawings pop off the page. It's almost like a drop shadow in that way, but just something to think of. This is like not, not notable, just something that I was doing next. I wanted to start with something that I knew that I liked to draw, and that is side profile girly, bubble hair, the star pattern in the background. I think it's just like bold, fun. It took my mind off things. It was a really good warm up. When, it, when you see me doing the same thing, I just want to relax and enjoy my time. This actually took a long time, and I feel like I got some freckles because I was in the sun. <laughs> it was so cute. Um, you might have been able to hear like there was a playground nearby, like little kids and stuff. This little kid kept coming, running up to me and looking at me. And I feel like when kids see adults doing things that kids do, like drawing is something I feel like most kids think adults don't really do because most adults, I don't know if they draw. Um, but when kids see that, they're really, really intrigued. She kept coming over and looking. And then after like the fourth time, she was like, hi. I was like, hello. She's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm drawing. Do you want to see my drawings? And I showed her this one and this one. And then she was like, my name's blah, blah. And I'm like, my name's Sean. And then she ran away. <laughs> anyway, this one was just inspired by a tree that was actually in the park. And then the background was like, not really inspired by what was there, but using the layering as inspiration. I think it's really cute. The first time I used those Caran d'Ache crayons, I liked layering the watercolor. I think there's something nice about like not overdoing watercolor, you know? Maybe like taking these details away would be nicer and keeping it all watercolor and this crayon rather than like adding these details and these details. Yeah, I think that would be interesting. I love seeing it bleed. And I actually love how this is just like misregistered or misaligned, looking misaligned because of the um, where the tape was and how it bled underneath. This I don't like. <laughs> this is my drawing of Rocket. I mean, I like it because it's a Rocket, but I don't like it because I think it's ugly. <laughs> I, what I do appreciate about it is like I liked doing the, like allowing it to bleed so much and seeing and just trusting the process and hoping that it like turned out. But a memory, you know, nonetheless. This, I like this. I feel like she doesn't have a neck, but if I lifted the head up or, or brought the body down a little, that would be good. I don't know if you guys heard, but there was like a kid, we were drinking bubble tea. Like we were in like a um, shopping center food court drinking bubble tea. And there was like a kid next to us. And they were like, the mom was like, look at what she's doing. Like she's recording that. She's going to put it on social media. And the kid's like, cool. And they were just like watching me. And I can feel them watching me. I didn't like acknowledge it because I just feel awkward about that. Like I don't really want to be like, hey are you impressed by me? <laughs> but like the mom was like, I wonder if it's, she's going to speed it up when she posts it or something like that, like a time lapse. And the kid was like, yeah, but it already looks like it's sped up. <laughs> like while I was drawing, it, I was so cute. I love eavesdropping on people. But yes, this blue, I'm, I'm so convinced that I really want to get some of these Caran d'Ache crayons because they're just so cool. I love the texture of this ink pen. I love ink pen on this paper. The last one was this little lady. I don't like that it's off center. It really bothers me. And I don't like these, this really loose thing that I did. And I probably actually don't like the lips that much, but I like the color. So you don't have to like everything. This is probably my favorite sketch. It's also more, more bold and more finished. And second is probably this. Cause I would love to do more like painting from life or something like that. But anyway, that's it. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me and I'll see you very soon. Bye everyone.